course, but we couldn't help but notice the crutches that you came in on there. What, uh, what happened? You said it, you came into this with an injury? Yeah, it's just there. It was like the same. Is this way? Oh, this way, yeah. It's like the same before I was meant to fight Cowboy. Uh, last week, it just, my knee just completely gave out and, and, and I, I tore it. <clears throat> I, don't, I didn't know how bad because as soon as it happened, I just, you know, sort of just tried to block it out. <clears throat> you know, everything this week, it was just one more thing on it. And, and so then it hasn't, it wasn't really hurting in the fight, but now it's just throbbing me and I just, I'm, it's stiffened up a bit. I'll be okay in a few days, but I'll, I'll see what's up with it and I'll get it a little bit checked out. What happened? Did you take a, a strike to the knee or did no, you step on it? No, I was uh, sparring. It was probably my best day of sparring. I was just on fire and I just got a bit overwhelmed. And, and as I threw a, a leg kick, uh, one of my sparring partners, Chris, uh, stepped in. So m m m my knee sort of stopped on his leg, but my leg wrapped around and so my knee just it give out. It was it's the same knee that I'd done before Cowboy, it's just problems. But you know, uh, listen, I'm not pulling out of no fight f for nothing. I I'm just not. You know, if 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 Kelvin would have got the victory there tonight, I wouldn't you wouldn't have seen me sat here talking about injuries or jet lag or visa problems. You know, y y it's as I've always said, I'm I'm honest, I'm from the heart and, and you either win or you lose. And that man who wins on that night is the better man. You said all the right things when we spoke to you yesterday. You know, oh, everything's good. But now that you're here, can you be honest? I mean, not knowing, well, especially now knowing they had a knee injury, but not knowing <laughs> if you have a visa, if you're going to be able to get over here, the, the late flight. I mean, how tough w w was the final week in these, these last couple of days? Do you want me to be brutally honest? It was, Please. It was like, uh, it was it was like, I don't, I don't know. I can't even explain it because I'm waiting next door at the embassy in London and, and, and it's just every day that going by is I don't know if I'm getting a visa and, and I know that Dana and, and, and the guys they had everyone I think Dana spoke to Trump about me I mean that's you know I didn't know there was times when like I thought this fight's not happening and, and that you know like I know there was a lot given over the wake up video with Kelvin and that but Kelvin probably just thought fuck this I'm, I'm gonna need some shit because he, he's not turning up you know what I mean? And, and there was times that I just wanted to do it m myself. And so there was that. And then there was like, I knew there was going to be jet lag. And I knew there was going to be water retention for weight cut. And I didn't know if the fight was happening. And I had a few injuries. And it's just like, I've over. That didn't mean anything to me. I wanted to just get in there. I didn't want to win. I didn't want to lose. I, I don't. I just wanted to. I, you know, I just wanted to be like in there. And. and, and I don't even know. I, I can't say anything. It's like I've been invincible all my life. I, I know my skill set I've got. I know I can beat any guy in, in, in any division. I know that with my skill set. You've seen that tonight. I've just, number four, Kevin, look, look at the guys he's knocking out. I know it wasn't the most exciting fight, but he didn't touch me. He just simply didn't touch me. And that's no disrespect to him. That just shows my skill set. But, like, before Woodley, there was no one guy who could beat me. And then two losses like that. It just took a lot away from me, inside of me. You know, I didn't say it, but it, I fought some hard demons. And then obviously stuff with like, you know, getting arrested and then there's other things and you lose sponsors. It's, 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 fucking, it's like a fucking whirlwind and it's good and it's bad. And it's, you know what I mean? So just to get in there tonight, I tell you, I was trying to fake an injury before walking out. I was thinking of an injury to fake because I just simply did not want to get in there. And this is probably things that fighters don't talk about, but you know me, I'm honest. You know, and, 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 and that's just where I was at. Um, now I'm here, confidence is back. Like, fuck all these middleweights. You know, I'm coming for everything. It's back. I was say, with all the confidence that we know you have, you had some pretty honest quotes afterwards that you said you were fearful getting in there yeah. and, a, and a little bit afraid. So is that, yeah. has that been rectified at this point, or do you think that's something you're going to have to deal with every time? Every, every fight, no matter what any fighter will ever tell you, they, they will be scared. If, if they tell you they're not, it's, 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 it's a blatant lie. But this fight, I wasn't scared. I was terrified. I, I wasn't shaken, but I, I just didn't want to go. I didn't. The, the magnitude of the event, <clears throat> everything. I, it just. I was. I was doubting. I was thinking of ways to get out of the fight. It, it, this was only today, and I'm just so scared. And then the first round's over. I'm like, Darren, come on, pull yourself together. And I was like, okay, now we're gonna win this fight the way we planned. We're gonna. We're not gonna let him touch you, and you're gonna win it on. A, on you know. Whatever. I knew it could be hard to knock him out. I know I've got the power, but I know he's a, t he's a tough cookie. And, you know, that's just how it is. The fighters might not say it, but I'll always say it. Whether, it, you know, it's good or bad. I've been criticised in the past or whatever. But that's where, that's where I was at today, as soon as I woke up. Last thing for me, 
I mean, you jumped into the deep end of the division, right? Dana was in here just now, and he said, eh, guessing he probably thinks that puts you top six or so in the division. I mean, where, where do you feel like you go here when you beat somebody that high ranked to start with? <laughs> where, where do you go next? Uh, I don't know. You, you know I, really, I really don't know. I, I've said this. I, I should have said it on the mic, maybe, but years ago, Israel, before I was already like sort of at the top, before I was fighting with Lee, and he identified as like the fight that was going to happen with me and him. And, and, and I, I just, I want that fight for legacy. You know, I, I've spoke about Anfield, my hometown, the Liverpool Football Club, and that's, that's a legacy fight for me. You know, I've said this before here on these tables, forget the belt. Obviously, if me and him fight the belts up, but it's it's the fight with me and him that I, that I, I know it's gonna be. It, it will honestly, I swear to God, like I get goosebumps thinking about it. And you know, if it's that, it's done. If it's something else, it's something else. And listen, I ain't afraid of no one, no one, no weight division, no weight division, none of them. Uh, Darren, just over here, uh, Robert Whitaker is keen to come back to action as soon as possible. I'm just wondering, what would you think of a matchup with a guy like Rob? Yeah, I, I think it's a ter 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 terrific uh, fight, you know, but uh, we're both, like, strikers. Uh, I don't know, really, who, who wins in the wrestling department. No one can take me down and keep me down. That That's simple. I've just moved up to middleweight, and you got Kelvin, who's an unbelievable grappler. Yeah, he, he took me down twice, three times, but he couldn't keep me there. There's no man keeping me down. So, you know, it, I don't know where it goes, but, as I say, confidence lacking, confidence high. I believe I beat them all. I believe I beat them all. I do. I truly believe with me, the way I, I know I can train and my mindset is and my skill set, I can beat them all. A lot of people sort of talking about Yoel Romero possibly getting this. Oh, title. fuck that guy. Well, I don't want to ever fight him. He's a beast. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was, I was, I was going to ask you, he's uh, coming off a loss. Yeah. A lot of people are saying you're now coming off a win. I mean, logically... Don't you think it makes sense for you to fight? It doesn't not make sense anymore. We've just seen the, the, the two gangsters fight for the, the BMF belt, you know. Uh, I'm gutted the way it ended. You know, I wanted to see a five-round war. It was, it was a good fight while it lasted, but any, anything's possible. Three losses, any, you know, after I was coming off two and they put me in with Kelvin, anything's possible, anything's possible. If it's Joel, if they wait for Costa, if, if, if it's someone else more deserving than myself, so be it. And then if it's me at the end of it, you know, I'm not going to say no. You know what I mean? There's a few watches I want to buy, so it's a payday as well. So let, let's let's do it. But for now, I'm so thrilled just to be in this, you know, I just call main event at 26 years of age at Madison Square Garden. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm doing things that I never thought would be possible. Mm. And just last one from me, uh, Israel Adesanya obviously here this week. I'm just wondering, did you get a chance to speak to him at all? You guys have a lot of respect for each other. Have you yeah. run into each other at all? Well, we always chat on uh, Instagram messages, like some, a few memes and that. Like, he, he's, a, he's a cool, cool guy. And, and you know, it's the same thing what I said about uh, Masvidal. 100% of me is happy for what he's doing. A few people have said, like, oh, you're not angry because of what he's doing now and, and, and stuff. But when he fought me, it wasn't... Till versus Masvidal was the Darren Till show in London. That that's what it was, and 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 then he took that from me. And the only thing inside of me now is to be there now, you know, getting all this attention. And, and so you know, uh, <laughs> Israel, me and him are good, but we're gonna fight and we're gonna try and take each other out and maybe one day fight Masvidal again, get that a big rematch. He just told me in the lobby that he'd move up to middleweight. You know, I'm a scary middleweight now. I'm not cutting no weight. <laughs> <coughs> Darren, you got 15 minutes over here. You got 15 minutes of experience uh, fighting at middleweight. Overall, performance-wise, uh, how do you feel fighting uh, 15 pounds heavier? Uh, it, it, it don't, I don't really know. It didn't seem like much. Kelvin, he felt like the same amount of strength as Woodley when he had me against the cage, but I was turning him. But I do like sometimes to be on the cage. I like to like think, and I know I'm very good at my defense, but... Uh, I'm sure there's guys, as I said about Yol, who I'll feel it a lot more if I ever fight some guy like him or stuff. But I feel like I'm at the right weight. Everyone looks at me now. You know, I'm not. I'm no welterweight. It's just simple. You know, you can you can size a guy up and you can look at me from my build, but it's also my legs. My legs are hu humongous, so I'm just no welterweight. You know, I, 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 I'm a middleweight. I'm probably not the biggest or the strongest, but you know, that that doesn't mean everything in a fight. You know, extra 15 pounds, it doesn't really mean a lot. To, to me, it's all about skill set. 
how di was the weight cut difficult? I mean, is is there can you put on more weight? Because you you did yeah. say how um, you felt like he was a, a bit stronger than you. Yeah, it, I feel like I misjudged it, but I feel like the, the, the flight just 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 had me it got me because I, when I got off the, the plane, I expect when I looked at the scales, I expected a certain weight, and it was it was like two two point five, wasn't it? Over what I was expecting, and I was like, ah oh, fuck. Like, I can't be dealing with this welterweight cut again. Fuck that. So, you know, it was funny because then I, it was like four o'clock and, and, and they were saying to do this and that. I was like, fuck all that. I'm here to cut weight and fight. So I, I went, I cut weight and I got I got all my weight off. There was like a kilo and a half, two kilos left. And I said, okay, I'm going to rest for a few hours and then I'll do my last little bit. And, you know... It wasn't a struggle. It, it wasn't. The next time we better. But there's been a lot of shit this week. So he, the weight cuts, knees, all that shit. It doesn't really fucking mean anything. Fighters might say it. Might, fighters might make excuses and that. But I'm not about that life. I, you know what? You know what I mean. I just I get in there to fight and win or lose. The man who wins is always the better man. That's how I see it. And but weren't 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 really too happy with when this. Uh, matchup was first announced. They thought maybe it was a little too much for you. Do you think people forgot about your skill set and maybe yeah. made too much about the, yeah. the, your losses? People forget that Stephen Thompson has just took Vincente to town and they forget what i done to Thompson. Now, you can think, well, you didn't do anything, but I played him in his own game. Whether you say I won or he won, I played Stephen Thompson, considered one of the best strikers in mixed martial arts at his own game. Nearly stopped him in the fifth. So people forget People, people forget all of that. Do, do you know what I mean? And they, and then they're thinking, oh, Dan just goes in there to knock him out. They forget about my IQ and my skill set. So, you know, tonight they remembered. But there's always going to be all that shite. You just, as I say, the good and the bad, you just have to deal with it. <clears throat> but um, I got, like, a nice feeling inside of me because of how many people doubted me and, 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 and how many people I know who don't think I know doubted me and stuff like that. It's f it's very rewarding. Darren, congratulations for getting back in the winning ways. Your friend, the Gypsy King, Tyson Fury, the lineal heavyweight champion, has recently stated he wants to get back in. He wants to get into MMA. Yeah. He's been calling out Stipe, Francis Ngannou. <laughs> Francis is exchanging barbs with him. Let's be real. You're a realistic guy. Does he have a chance to winning in MMA if he competes? You know, Tyson's my boy. Tyson is he's proper my boy. We're under the same the same management. Uh, any guy gets in there tries to like strike with Tyson. I had this, one of my sparring partners, a heavyweight. Tom even said to me, he said Tyson is untouchable. He's just so so good. But then you have to bring all these other factors in, takedowns and and and, and kicks and stuff. And I just believe in a little bit of training, yeah. So if he wants to train with me or Connor. Whatever be you're gonna train with me, obviously, because we're MTK for life. But I think he, you know, look, he, he, people, people want to say things. He's in WWE and that and all that. But look what he's making this be massive in America now, and he's making this big name, and he's making money for his family, and he's, he's a clever, clever, clever man. And uh, you gotta always go back to that Deontay Wilder fight, a guy who's only 15 stone. How hard he punches at that that weight, and and Tyson just gets up like from the from the dead. So I. I he do well. He fights Stipe, Francis. Uh, you know, my money's on Tyson. But, you know, he, he definitely needs to know. And I'll tell him myself that he's got to learn some certain things. MMA is different from boxing. Lastly, Sweet Caroline, your walkout music. Very unique song choice. What's going through your mind when you hear Sweet Caroline? <laughs> bum, bum, bum. Do you know what? I'm going to tell you the brutally honest truth now is, is, is I got an email five days ago from the girl who does the walkouts. And I just wasn't bothered about that or anything, as I said. And she asked what music I would be walking out to, and I didn't reply. And then just before walking out, then we're calling. I said, Call, I forgot. Like, to ch I didn't want to come out to Street Catalan. I just didn't want to come out to it. I don't know why. I just had fears, anything. And I come on, and I, I just couldn't even believe how many people were cheering for me. And, and then it was just on. I was like, OK, this is good. You know, but I don't think I'll ever relive that moment from when I fought in Liverpool. We, we'll see. Anfield's definitely the next place I'm fighting. That that's the next place next year. It's gonna happen. I know it's gonna happen, but Sri Lanka's the one. You you know that. Uh, Darren, where do you rate this in uh, in your career moments? Obviously, you headlined Liverpool. This is MSG. What for you is is the big 
you know, the big highlight of your career so far? Uh, everything. The, the highs and the lows, the losses, the wins, you know, the controversy, the, the, you know, everything. Uh, but I, when I, when I, when I want to sit down, when I retire, when I'm 35, I want, I want like to have sold out Hamfield and and won, won won a UFC title. That that's the goal. You know, all f other things are important, but that th that's the goal. And and right now in my mind, I can see, I can see Hamfield happening. I, I just can. You know, I just can see it visually now, right now when, when I speak. And how much would that mean to you to get that dream? You know, uh, I'm from Liverpool. Liverpool's a very iconic. City, the guys in New York, and they speak to me as well, and they say I'm from Liverpool. They didn't know the place, and 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 I've sold out the arena there already, the Echo Arena. First ever guy in in, in combat sports to do that. It was the first ever guy, and and I'll be the first guy to do it at Anfield. There's a there's a boxer, we've got a boxer from Liverpool, Callum Smith, and he's scheduled to fight there next year. But that's boxing. I'm in May, so when he sells it out. And I, I, as I say, I'll be hundred percent happy for him, and then I'll sell it out in a, in MMA. That, that's the goal right now. Darren, do you know the severity of your knee injury? Sorry? Do you know the severity of the knee injury at the moment? Or? You, you know, uh, it, it's... I just... Since 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 Cowboy, I, I, I like... I've just sort of put it to the back of my mind and I, and I wrestle. I do everything with it. Everything. I stretch it, put it behind my head. Everything. I'm a flexible guy, but, you know, now it's, it's swelled up a little bit and... and this is what I always do. I'll ice it, and then when it feels good, I'll okay, fuck that. So I, I'm probably gonna leave it to be honest with you. Most most fighters now feeling this right now will probably get surgery, but this is not a telltale for fighters anyway to kick me because I can take low kicks. Trust me, ex Muay Thai fighter, but you know we'll see. It's it's not that bad. <laughs> and uh, obviously you got a win on the big stage against the number four ranked middleweight. As people said, a lot of people were doubting you going into this. Do you feel that you silenced the doubters tonight? Yeah, I do. I, I always talk about doubters, and I feel like I've been being doubted a lot of me. Like, you know, I've only been in MMA for like se seven years, eight years. That's not, not, that's not, not a long time, and, and I'm 26. And you know, I, as I say, sometimes you look what people write about you and what people say, and, and what messages you receive, and what people you think. They think you don't know what they're saying, and just the doubt that comes out of them, it just it drives me on. And, and uh, you know, I feel like, as I always say, the good and bad in life, that's, that's, that's the bad, because it is really bad, and it's hard to take millions of people putting you down. I, even though I know in myself how good my skill set is, and any one of them couldn't stand 10 seconds with me, but it still it drills a, a hole in your head, and, and it, it, it can affect you. And not that only affected me for this fight, just everything coming off the losses I was coming off and how invincible I thought I was before that. I know I'm still the greatest, but I know I've got to work at that. And, you know, now I'm just so thrilled. I don't really care about the win or, or whatever. I'm just so thrilled to be here. I really am. I've come back from a lot. And I don't speak about it much, but I really have. I've built myself back up. Yeah.